Many of the global challenges that we face today are seemingly intractable in nature. They are incredibly complex, extremely challenging for us to solve, and they represent an incredible intermingling of political systems, of economies, of values across the world. So within Global Studies, each of the semesters is broken down into several different components. One of the main components is a theme, and a theme really addresses the content that the students will be grappling with in a particular semester. And they're also in, inclined to follow a skills track that helps them build up the interpersonal competencies and the skills that they need to be successful global citizens. So if you really want to address global challenges, you have to understand the problem at first hand. And by first hand, I mean you have to understand it from the perspective of the person who is affected. To do that, we introduce the interview track, a part of the qualitative track in semester three, where students get a chance to interview um, individuals facing a particular problem and then come out with practical solutions that they can use to address that particular problem. So the idea is we try to train our students to be able to conduct real societal um, problems with interviews. And then practically, they get a chance to also reach out to people facing these problems and then ask them the relevant questions, come back home and then analyze these questions to come up with recommendations. Quantitative methods that we are teaching, it start from the uh, foundational courses as for example basic statistics, descriptive statistics or inferential statistics and all of these uh, techniques we kind of uh, focus in more real applications. So we really care about the real application of those techniques and cutting edge and methods to be applied in, in the data. That is the unique component of global studies that we tried to integrate both lens, qualitative and quantitative method in an interdisciplinary point of view or viewpoint. So there's three skills components. One is professional skills, one is academic skills, and the third one is global citizenship skills. Well, I think most students automatically will think of academic skills. So these are things like writing, um, presentation skills, uh, learning how to study more efficiently. But the Global Studies program kind of tries to go beyond that. So of course, professional skills are something that people often think about too. But I also think things like conflict resolution or developing empathy skills are something students don't really focus on um, earlier on. So developing those skills is quite important in the classroom as well. I think it's actually quite unique that we focus so much on global citizenship skills um, because I think focusing more on having students be able to speak across disciplines, talk with people from different backgrounds and be able to make sense of that and also see the value of the different ways that people do things, um, I think that's not something that's always valued or emphasized in other university programs. In the third years, the students have an exciting opportunity to go on a four-week field study in either the Netherlands or around the world where we work with different partners and to, to work on a topic that's related to the theme Peace and Justice. So in global studies and also widely at UM, we use the problem-based learning method. And problem-based learning is different from the traditional way of teaching because it is student-centered and student-led. And uh, as, as tutors, we uh, take a step back and our role is to guide and to facilitate the discussion. But we leave it to the students to take lead when it comes to their own education. So uh, PBL does not just prepare you during your studies. So when you go out to the field, it equips you with communication skills because in our classes, we interact with students from different cultures and also teachers from different cultures. And also you learn to be critical, to be analytical. So these skills uh, all together helps not just in the classroom but also when it comes to uh, the job market. Well I think the whole the whole program and any bachelor program but especially a global studies program um, would like to educate students to become global citizenships bridge builders and to be a good bridge builder uh, you have to know yourself uh, and in case you have difficulties or issues or want to find your path, it's good to have somebody there to support you, getting more experience in these kind of things during your study instead of figuring it out yourself after your studies. So in this program we uh, have a student care officer to help students um, to reach these goals uh, or to uh, get better in finding their, um, well, their path or improving their qualities. Well, that can be 
via student care, but also um, during our skills program, for example. So it's interwoven in the whole program, but also in the support, just to help them find their way.